Uh, while we're speaking about Easter, you know, Easter is about the, the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed upon the cross at Calvary uh, after he died for our sins and, and rose again on that third day, 2,000 years ago or thereabouts. And, uh, you know, even though there's, uh, you know, there's all these other distractions, you know, they've got Easter eggs, Easter bunnies and everything else that, you know, the world wraps around the uh the, the the story of uh of of god becoming flesh and rising again after paying the death penalty for our sins and um you know it just it just strikes me that the world has has largely forgotten uh the the you know the goodness of god but the goodness of god at the cross and the blood of christ but really because also people have um have got so such limited knowledge of the bible because they've not read it uh, i was I, jesus saved me 27 years ago well, I think nearly 28 years ago and um, and by the grace of God the Lord has uh, took me through the word and Jesus has been my teacher and I've read the Bible battles and falls battles and falls battles and falls and I I don't profess to know everything only God knows all things but but I certainly have read um, things in the scriptures that um, that has led me to have an understanding of the, the 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 blood of Christ and how important it is to receive the blood of Christ in your life uh, as well as I've received the blood of Christ and the benefits of the blood of Christ in my life and so many people, they, they reject God in, in, in that they don't want nothing to do with the blood of Christ. They, they reject the crucifixion. They, they won't repent. They won't run, ask Christ to forgive their sin, you, you not give their life to the Lord. And therefore, they're not covered in the blood of Christ. They're not cleansed of their sins by the blood of Christ. They're not saved by the blood of Christ. They're not protected and saved from um, God's wrath by the blood of Christ. And I think that, you know, now I just mentioned the word wrath, and this is something that people are not really used to hearing is because they're so unaware of who God is. You know, it's like, it's like working for a company and you've got uh, got a governor and you know the owns the company and uh, he's incredibly wealthy and um you know and he and everything anyone ever says about this governor is that he's uh, full of grace and he's merciful and he's a he's a he's a, a governor which is uh, full of love and it's wonderful and it'd be very easy just to take advantage people certain people will take advantage of that and they'd start, you know, not turning up for work on time, or they'd start, um, you know, uh, speaking speaking perhaps ba bad about the governor just purely because they can, and they seem to get away with it, even though, you know, there's, um, you know, the, 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 when, when, when there is discipline that comes from the, 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 the governor, it is um, most of the people don't even hear about it, and, um, you know, it, and, and the, the gentleness of the governor is so evident. And I just want you to imagine for a moment, just imagine for a moment, that coming across the uh, the governor's ledger or coming across some paperwork concerning the the uh, the, the future of the company written by the, by the governor and realizing that actually there's a day coming that uh, the, the day is uh, the day is upon you where the judgment is coming that the judgment is going to be poured out upon all the workers that work for the governor and this judgment is coming in such a way where people will be punished. They're, 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 they're literally, all those workers that have done wrong and have, and, and have mocked or took advantage of the governor are going to come under a judgment. And that in a sense, the wrath of the governor is going to come upon the business. And imagine you, you found out this. What would you do about it? Well, in a sense, that's what's happened to many Christians all over the world. We've read the Bible. We've found out that this God, our God, the God who created us, that, that, that gave us his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who was God in flesh, and he shed his sinless blood upon the cross at Calvary for our sin, that the blood of Christ was to wash away our sins, yes, but to also protect the individual from the wrath of God to come, which is coming, coming upon the world, upon the people of the world, because of their unrepentant and sinful lives. If you read the book of Judges in the Old Testament, you will find this, that when the God's character is revealed in the book of Judges, you will find over and over again a situation where the Jewish Israel would uh, would stop following God's laws. They would in some way uh, start to reject God's laws. They would start to worship other gods. They would start to break the, break the Ten Commandments, live how they wanted to live and not take God seriously. And what God would do is that God would raise up the, 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 the heathen. He would raise up the, the infidel. He would raise up the, those that do not know God. He would raise up those that were not his own people, that, 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 that worshipped and, 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 and was uh, serving false religion, false religious even gods, demons. And he would raise them up to attack his own people, Israel, to bring them into submission. So that now, now that they would be, be now ruled under a, a tyrant of, of an oppression, 
And it, in being ruled under a tyrant of oppression, what would happen is the people of Israel, the, the leaders would start, to, people would start to think, why is this happening to us? And then they would start to repent and they'd start to put God's laws back into practice in their lives. They'd cry out to the God of heaven. They'd cry out to their God, the God of Israel, the God of all creation. And they'd come in repentance and they'd put their faith back in him and start to put his laws back into practice. And through their faith, God would see their faith in action and by their works. And God would raise up a deliverer amongst the Israelites people and it, there would be war there, 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 there would be bloodshed but God would be with Israel and and the Israel would defeat break free of the bondage of their attackers and of, of the, uh, the, the the heathen um, uh, in the, 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 the unbelievers that, that took note that uh, dominated them that they would be released by the power of God and they would then start to be free to worship God and they'd be they'd have their own um, space as it were to be able to worship God and to serve God within that and what would happen often is that the children would grow up and they'd listen about God's deliverance they'd listen about the miracles of God they'd listen about the almighty God and the youngsters would grow up and they'd go to the older people that had been lived through all this and and the younger people their attitude would be well you know they're not taking it seriously and and you know they'd, they'd, they'd believe in God of course but like but they wouldn't be taking the word of God seriously the laws of God seriously and they'd do the same thing and then God would do the same thing to them and this went on and a book of judges you just got to see god's character of how he deals with an unrepentant people and a people that wish to live in their sin that want to ignore his laws how does god deal with them now we're now looking at those throughout the west many of the most people's bibles gather dust all over the world people's bibles gather dust no one's reading the bible anymore apart from the ministers and a few christians or obviously there are you know christians all throughout the world that uh you know that, that know the message I'm, I'm, I'm speaking of right now they're listening to me and they're thinking to themselves that's right that's exactly what it is and they know this is be the truth but do you realize how much you need the blood of christ because the blood of christ is the only is the only thing that can save you from the wrath of god it's the only thing now, the, under the, uh, unless you have the blood of Christ, you're judged by the laws of God. This is what a lot of people don't realise. People are, oh, I don't believe in the law of God. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in the law of God. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't matter if you don't believe. If you don't, well, it does. If you do believe, you can come to the Lord. But it doesn't make any difference whether you're going to get punished or not. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't make any difference whether you're going to receive the wrath of God or not. It doesn't make any difference whether you're going to reap what you sow or not. These things are a fact. So which means the wrath is cut, the wrath of God is already upon your life, the Bible says. God says this. Jesus says in John's gospel that anyone who has the Son, that's Jesus, has faith in the Son, has life. But he who does not have the Son, does not have life, does not have the spiritual life knowing God, does not have life, but the wrath of God remains upon them. So if you're not if you're not got Jesus as your Lord and Saviour right now, and you've got you've had different problems and things going on in your life and this, that, and the other. Do you realize that you number one you're under a curse through sin and the wrath of god is upon you and now you can come out from the wrath of god by accepting christ and being washed in the blood of christ that jesus shed at calvary the, the law is a school the old testament law actually you need to take, take take look at the ten commandments and see where you've broken them because the breaking of god's laws moral laws brings judgment from god and the judgment is death spiritual death leading to physical death then hell then judgment then eternal punishment in the lake of fire you stand condemned before god if you trust in your own good works and you trust it which means or you're trusting trying to in some sense to be obedient to god's laws the scripture says the bible says that the, the law is is good and holy but it is there as a schoolmaster to lead you to Christ, to point to the fact that you need, as I need, God's mercy. And God's mercy is poured out upon the cross in Jesus, dying upon the cross for your sin and mine, pierced through the hands and through the feet, nailed to the cross. Our sin nailed Jesus to the cross. And in the bloody shed at Calvary, cleanses and washes my sins away and can cleanse and wash your sins away if you was to turn to him and trust in the Lord. Turn to the Lord today. Ask Jesus to forgive all your sin. Give up your life to Jesus as your Lord and your God and your Saviour. Believe on the God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. One God yet in three persons. The creator of all things through the power of his word, Jesus Christ. Believe on him and repent and give up your life to him. And the blood of Christ will cleanse you from all your sin. 
the blood of Christ will protect you from the wrath of God to come and the wrath of God which is upon your life right now if you've not accepted Christ as your saviour you'll have peace with God through the blood of Christ but if people don't want the blood of Christ they have the law of God which brings condemnation and death now right now we've got problems in this in the west with Islam the Western world, we've, we, we, have on a, we have largely rejected God. We've rejected the blood of Christ. We want to live in a democracy where, where, where we, wrote out the, we wrote out the word of God. We say in a demo, de democratic world, we can say no to God. We can, say, we, can, we can vote out his laws. That's what's been happening all over the West. So what is happening? is that God is raising up the heathen. God is raising up the people that do not know him. God is raising up the unbelievers. God is raising up those which are enemies of God. And he's raising up them and bringing them, in, bringing them upon the countries that have had the Bible. But we've rejected the white Bible. We've rejected Christ. We've rejected the love of God in the, uh, in the blood of Christ. We've rejected it. So we end up with a law. And the law comes with death penalties. Now, when as, as Islam approaches, everyone's thinking to themselves, oh, Islam is approaching. How do we, what, what do we do? What do we do? We return to the God of Israel. We repent of our sin. We give our lives to Christ. That's what we do as, a, as, as an individual. But if, if the nation did it, the Lord would, would drive back our enemies. He, the, the Lord God, the God of Israel would drive back our enemies if the nation did it. If the whole nation, if, if, the, if the UK, the government, was to put back into place the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. If there was to teach the blood of Christ in the schools and education departments. If the new curriculum was full of, of the teachings which are necessary. But the primary teaching would be about the blood of Jesus Christ shed at Calvary 2,000 years ago go for the forgiveness of sins and that all other religions are wrong and the, and the bible says we are to have the first commandment is to have no other gods before us if we were to return to god and be saved by the grace of god through faith in jesus christ god would drive back our enemies he would free us of islam from our from the uk that is the, the, and, and 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 the bombing and the terrorism god would be with us and we would drive them back but let me tell you the Bible teaches us that in the end times, wickedness would increase. In the end times, the love of most would grow cold. In the end times, the faith in what I'm speaking about today is going to become less and less and less. Now, if we are in those end times right now, then God can still save you. It, what it means is if the nation doesn't repent, if the nation doesn't turn back to God, then we are going to be took over by the laws of God, which will come through Islam with death penalties. That's what Sharia law is. That is what Sharia law is. It brings the death penalties. So if, the, if as a country, as individuals, if we don't want the blood of Christ, if we don't want the mercy poured out on the cross, we get the law of God with the death penalties. Can you understand that? And, and because of it, then some will repent. Some will see it. Some will turn to Jesus. And let that one of those people be you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Easter 2017. God bless you.